There's a quote that goes like this. If you're feeling regretful, it means that you're living in the past. If you're feeling anxious and nervous, it means that you're living in the future. If you are grateful, it means that you're living in the present moment. And this is especially true for me that I even wrote it down into my most important things that I learned for today. Like I only allow myself to write one single key valuable lessons that each day that I've learned. To not worry about the past and to not worry about the future. I've just finished my physics exams and I did not quite like my result about it. Like I put a lot of my effort, in my opinion, I put a lot of effort and the result isn't what I expected. But with the help of meditation, I get to keep my calms down and actually analyze it with logical reasoning rather than complaining and to put the blame on God, to put the blame on luck and to, onto someone else. It made me realize that my learning method may be wrong on this particular subject and I didn't put as much effort on it. And I like the ideas of Andrew Tate where he say that if you actually try, if you actually put in the effort, there's no reason for you not to win. And by now you already know the benefit of meditation. But what actually good about meditation is that it helps you be more logical rather than emotional. Because in meditation, we know that to be aware of your emotion, when you close your eyes, when you feel hatred, when you feel jealous, when you feel envy, when you feel happy, you actually acknowledge those emotions. You know that you're feeling this kind of emotion, but you don't act out of it. Actually analyze it, you'll be aware, you'll be more acknowledged and let it pass because emotion keep on fluctuating. There's not a single human being in this world able to maintain the feeling of happiness for entire lifetime. They'll feel sad, they'll feel angry, they'll feel amazing. Like this kind of emotion fluctuate every single second. Meditation actually helps you to know what you're feeling deep down and wanted you back from focus. It helps you to concentrate on the one single important thing. And this is gonna translate into your work, into how you deal with life. Modern days, we're all living a busy life. Like every single day you have to improve yourself, you have to be more productive. Like even the video that I make is all about productivity. You feel stressed out, you feel exhausted. Like every single day, people are getting ahead of you. You're feeling stressed, you want to catch up on this red race. And meditation helps you to escape from this reality and let you to be a peace of mind. And this helps me a lot. Like sometimes when my emotion is not good, when I'm feeling like not myself, like I can't work hard, it's what meditation that helps me to get me back on track. So today I'm gonna go with you a simple and quick easy way to how to meditate. So I want you to find a comfortable seat right now. And it doesn't have to be a chair, it can be a bed or it can be a floor. And however your leg is putting out is actually okay. Like you want it to cross it out, you want to lay it flat, it's okay. Just find a position that you're comfortable with, right? So follow me, it's gonna be a five minute quick meditation. I just want you to rest your hand on your lap. I want you to close your eyes for a second. When you close your eyes, I want you to actually breathe. Like nowadays when people breathing, they don't know where that they breathe. They shallow breathing. It means that they breathe from their mouth and come out from their mouth so shallow, they have to breathe so many times. So instead what we're gonna do is to breathe from the nose deeply and pause it for a second and then you release out from your mouth. So do it with me. Close your eyes. Breathe from your nose. My nose is small, all right? Sometimes my nose is gonna get blocked, gonna get cloggy, but anyways, just be just breathe as lightly as and as much as you can. Alright? Breathe in and then you can feel your stomach is bulging, alright? Not your shoulder but your stomach. Pause it at the top of the moment and then for about five seconds you release out. Try this for about a minute or so and you realize that your thought keep on wandering. Right? You realize that sometimes you feel like you're feeling horny, sometimes there's a moment that you wanted to improve on, some things that really kick on your mind that you hated that person. Mostly your thought is negative because it's what negative that's only stay in your mind. Like nowadays people focus on the negative things instead of the things they should be improving on, like their achievement that like they're doing good. But they keep on focusing the bad things they are on because everyone keep on telling them to focus on your weakness, improve your weakness. And they look past that they are good at something and they don't appreciate that thing as well. I want you to stack up this habit with another habit that you already do, which is a good one. Like for example, if I'm showering, I will stack my meditation on top of after shower. Like after I come out of the shower, I immediately go to meditation. So try it for yourself. Stick onto a something that you regularly do, like after you're brushing your teeth, after you're having a cup of coffee in the morning.
and at this moment you already can feel something in your mind like you a lot of small thought you started to wonder you feel like you can't you can't help yourself to like getting up from the chair but this is a part of meditation you just have to get used to it right no one is ever going to be perfect and yeah not even a person who do meditation for 10 years is going to be perfect at all And make sure to focus on your breath because when we close our eyes our sense of sight is gone so we're going to focus on our breathing and focus on the sensation when you breathe in focus on the nostril when you breathe in focus on your lungs on your belly when you exhale focus on the air coming out from your mouth all right we're going to focus on that and when there's thought of course you'll put your attention onto the thought but after you acknowledge it after you're aware of it go back to your breathing that's just that's just how meditation works it's very easy very simple all you got to do is just focus on it stay consistent on this habit all right seem like stretching you won't get any benefits if you keep on cutting your streaks like one day and then you don't do the other day you have to keep it a consistent habit and you will feel the improvement towards your mental health like seriously something you feel anxious something you just want to get some of your mind out of the reality of the world just meditation is enough like five minutes you're gonna feel more relaxed and of course don't fall asleep like every single time i do for like 10 minutes I sometimes found myself falling asleep for about 15 minutes on the, t- uh, on the chair. So just keep in mind that if you fall asleep, never mind. Just next time when you meditate, just get back up and just yeah, try yourself not to fall asleep and be focused. Release any tension from your body, but stay sharp on your mind. now I'm doing meditation, I can feel like I'm now putting my focus on the thumbnail that I'm going to post. Like I'm not thinking what's the best thumbnail for this video. And yeah, that's one of thought in my mind. I'm just going to acknowledge it and quickly get back on focusing on the breath. And this is extremely helpful if you are doing before competition, before you're doing something that's very stressful. This is going to calm yourself down, be logical, and analyze the situation. It's always better for you to react than to act out of your emotion. And if you are feeling anxious, you shouldn't act out of it because most likely the action, the results that are accompanied with the feeling of anxious is not going to be good. Now, you can gently open your eyes and you will feel a bit tired at first, like you wanted to go, go to sleep. It means that you, in the moment, you actually lose some focus, but it's okay. And keep this in mind. Alongside from sleeping, meditation is the best way for you to relax. Because essentially, it relaxes your mind, not your body. It also relaxes your mind. Like if you are feeling anxious, you're feeling depressed, you're feeling some sort of emotion that you cannot express out for your, 
towards your family, towards your lovers, meditation is the best thing. Like meditation lets you to be aware that, oh, you have a lot of thinking inside your brain. Like if you're not a person who keep on using pen and paper to write down your thought, meditation might be the best tool for you. It cleanses out like those kind of cleaning app at your phone to clean out all the junk, like all those negative thoughts that you have right now and filter it out with only positive thought. And with that, meditation might save your life. Like when you're feeling anxious, when you're feeling negative thought, meditation actually helps you to think positively. Like if you're feeling defeated when you are experiencing some sort of failure, meditation actually helps you to be logical, to see what thing that you can improve. And this is what the purpose of self-improvement. Meditation is a company with self-improvement and you'll feel a large benefit from it. Try every single day, just five minutes and stack it up with a habit they've already done. Of course, not the bad ones, with the ones they've already done like routinely, brushing your teeth, washing your face. Try out and let me know. Do the hard work, especially when you feel like it. What?